Welcome back. We all have sleepless nights from time to time, but if this happens more often than not for you, you may have a serious sleep disorder. 12% of our population suffers from sleep apnea. And this morning we have Dr. Scott Shorten of Meritus Health Neurology here. You're going to explain the signs and the risks for us. So there are different kinds of sleep apnea. Let's start with what it is and, and what we should look for. Sure. So when a person says sleep apnea, most of the time they are talking about obstructive sleep apnea. Uh -huh. And it is, it's extremely common, both men and women, but men are about 15% of the population in the U.S., and women are about 5% of the population. Are there different kinds of sleep apnea? So there's also a central sleep apnea, which okay. is more like when the brain doesn't appropriately send the signal to initiate a breath. Okay. But obstructive sleep apnea is more when the back of the throat muscles, normally they are holding themselves open when we're awake. Uh -huh. But when we fall asleep, they become more relaxed and compromise the airflow. Ah, okay. So that's when you kind of wake up with that jarring. Yeah, exactly. The brain doesn't let us suffocate. Mm -hmm. But when it doesn't get Thankfully. enough oxygen, uh, it has to momentarily wake up the brain to start breathing again. Okay, so we were talking on the couch over here. Everything I've ever seen with sleep apnea is this giant, huge machine. It's not that cumbersome anymore. Right. The old ones were very cumbersome and got a bad reputation for that. Fortunately, they've come a long way. Okay, so um, walk us through this. How, how do you use these? So this is an example of a modern CPAP device. Um, it works by generating increased air pressure. Mm -hmm. CPAP stands for continuous positive airway pressure. Okay. So that means that while you are breathing, it increases the pressure and helps to hold open those muscles so that the lungs can do the work and actually move the air in and out. Very good. So this is the unit that would attach to a hose of about six or eight feet long, mm -hmm. um, and that generates pressure. it's not the, pressure. the big, thick hose that we're thinking of. It's yeah, they're, they're quite small and flexible. Right. And then this is an example of uh, a very good, more modern mask option. Much smaller, mm -hmm. less cumbersome. This one just fits under the nose. And um, lots of different options, though. I generally tell people that there's uh, generally a good combination we can find that's both effective and comfortable. What uh, are the risks if someone has sleep apnea and it goes untreated? Well, there are short-term risks and long-term risks. The mm -hmm. short-term, pretty uh, most people would recognize poor sleep quality. They feel mm -hmm. bad the next day. They're sleepy. Mood is off, and maybe right. concentration is not very good. In the longer term, there is an association with obstructive sleep apnea and other health risks. Uh, increased risk for heart attacks, strokes, high blood pressure, wow. diabetes. And people who are very drowsy have a much higher risk for car crashes. Someone thinks they do have sleep apnea. There are a couple different tests. Talk about that. Yeah, the traditional test is where a person stays overnight in a sleep testing facility and mm -hmm. several different sensors on. Um, there seems like a lot of sensors, and they are, but they're organized in a way that isn't uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. All right. um, that is a person stays overnight for, you know, the eight hours or so. Uh, with a technician present, but usually their own private room. And then there's also a test you can do at home? There is. There's also a home sleep apnea test. Um, it's good when we have a high suspicion for obstructive sleep apnea in the first place. Um, it's more convenient, generally less expensive, has a small risk to underestimate the severity, though. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, thank Great you. information, as always. Uh, you can find out more information at nkch.org slash sleep better. We all need to do that. All right, Carly.